Okay guys, here's another fun and hopefully not too uh, noisy video. Uh, noisy because of the wind as usual. But anyhow, we left uh, Gibraltar um, Thursday the 5th. It's now the 9th, December the 9th, Monday. So we've been at sea for four days. Oh dear, what a waste. So, this is exactly what it's like. We've been at sea for four days, haven't seen much of anything, hardly even any other ships coming this way. So we've been all alone, and then all of a sudden, on the horizon, Porto Santo, part of the Madeira Island group, appears. And uh, Madeira, it's visible, I don't think you can see it with this phone camera, but it's there. I can see it with uh, with my eye just off further south. So all of this here is Porto Santo. And uh, they look like they're enormous mountains, extremely mountainous islands. But uh, yeah, so this is, uh, this is what it's like. You're sailing along four days, you're bored out of your mind sometimes, anticipating the end of the voyage, right? To put your feet on solid ground, sit in a cafe, have a coffee or a meal or a, you know, whatever it is that you do. You're waiting for it, and all of a sudden, boom, there it is. Totally changes the, the mood on board. Everybody's inspired again. So there it is. We have uh, finally arrived in Madeira. Well, just about. Of course, we still have a ways to go. In fact, I don't think we'll get to the marina in Madeira. The marina that we've chosen in Madeira until the wee hours of the morning. So we're going to check it out and see if we can get into the marina in the dark safely. And according to the guidebooks, it's fairly straightforward to do, like unless you're in stormy seas and then we can tie up to the fuel dock while we wait for everything to, uh, to open up later on in the morning. Or we may very well just have to uh, float around offshore for a little bit until the sun comes up and we can see our way clearly. And anyhow, there it is guys. You have arrived with me to the Madeira 